Okay. Um, this is my first time doing a group Zoom meeting, so uh, bear with me. You'll get a chance to do this one day yourself too and, and get to uh, feel the pressure of getting it right. Uh, let's see, hopefully you can see my personal Facebook page. I'm Glenn Woodfin. I've been making a living online for 10 years and wanted to share a lot of things with you guys. Uh, it would give me a great joy to watch you guys grow. So I'm here to teach you how to build a following on social media, drive traffic to a website, uh, get clients and not have to face typical rejection because clients will come to you, customers can come to you. Uh, you can have a brick and mortar business, you can have a network marketing business, you could just try to become an influencer online. All of these things will help. Um, the reason you heard that feedback is I turned on my cell phone uh, and tried to log in at the same time, but the microphones were giving uh, feedback to each other. Um, I'm trying to figure out, can everybody hear me? I see a number. Oh, here's a chat. I see it. Okay. <clears throat> oh, okay. You can hear me. All right. Well, just wanted to get that out of the way. Did you see what I did, by the way, in case you ever do this? I came up here to the top and there's this little thing. Anyway, I, I clicked on more and the first choice was chat and it opened up this little window and I can read that y'all are saying yes. Okay. So let's get going here. I'm going to close this. Okay. Um, I joined in business with a friend of mine I've known for 30 years. He and his, oh, Thomas texted me. Thank you, Mr. Thomas Hudson. Uh, super good friend. Thanks for letting me know. Okay. Uh, about five or six months ago, I got a call out of the blue to join in business with a couple named Brig and Lita Hart. And they're worth the, close to 300 million. <clears throat> and even though I'm just doing my own thing online, you know, having my dream of being able to work from home, I was open to listening. Well, anyway, he got me interested in this idea of working with him. And it was a network marketing opportunity. So I picked up the phone, I called 12 people, nine said yes. And then I noticed some of the people that said yes, they didn't get the same results. So I started hearing about affiliate marketing and how you could apply it to multi-level marketing. And the more I studied it, people are doing the techniques we're gonna be talking about tonight for any business. It can be a billion dollar business, it can be a restaurant, you can be a realtor, you can uh, just wanna train people online, create your own products, uh, you can be an affiliate marketer, you can sell Amazon products without you having to stock the product, uh, collect the money, deliver the product, or warranty the product by becoming a free affiliate. If you just put up content online, say on Facebook, if, if people trust your recommendation and when they click on your link, it goes to Amazon. And anything they order during that session, you typically get about 8% without ever having to touch a product or do anything except just create a recommendation. <clears throat> so that's what we wanted to talk about tonight is just how to promote anything online. Well, a lot of people uh, use Facebook. I've not been a huge personal user of Facebook. I signed up years ago, back when everybody else did. And I just don't use it much. <laughs> Every once in a while, I'll log in just to see if there's any old friends. But I tried some things uh, like talking about politics. People just didn't really respond to it positively. Um, I think I even tried some marketing things on my personal page. I'd get a couple likes, but it, it uh, Facebook is really made for, you know, more personal stuff, what's going on with your family and yeah, a little bit beyond that, but that's what it's for, uh, for the most part. But, when it comes to a business, all you have to do is click this button here. It's create, like you'll see your logo up in the top bar when you're logged into your personal account. 
And if you have a personal account, you're qualified to get what they call a business page or what they used to call a fan page. And you're limited to only 5,000 friends on your personal page, but you can have unlimited fans that follow you on a business page. So to create it, you just come down here to create. There's your little logo right there. Mine says Glenn, then it says home, then create. When you click create, you know, the first option is a page. So I've created two videos to show you how to do this in just absolute baby steps, hoping that if you have anxiety like me when you try something new, you'll feel more comfortable with it. So I've got a website that, let's see, where is it? If I can see it. Uh, this thing's blocking it, I think. Let me see if I can click that right there. Okay, <clears throat> I have a website, it's uh, Acapulco Web Design, and this is for my web design business, which is primarily how I make my living. So that's the home page. but I've created a secret page that's not public. And if you'll go to this address right here, acapulcowebdesign.com forward slash zoom, I've created two really quick videos. The top one is just how to get a page in 30 seconds. And then I show you how to turn it off from the public so you can continue to work on it at your leisure. And then the second video, it's really quick too. It shows you how to put up a cover photo and you know your brand or your, your photo icon, uh, your profile picture. And then I show you how to fill it out more. Like if you've got a business and you've got business hours and, and uh, phone numbers, uh, there's one way to go. Anyway, watch the video and you'll see which direction to go if you're like a brick and mortar business where you expect the public to actually show up at your office or place of business. The way I show you is how to do it if you're just gonna be a personal influencer. And I think right up front, it's a good idea to know if your heart is right and you really have a desire to serve people by creating content that helps them, it'll really help you get over any anxiety of putting your personal thoughts out online. Whether you create a video, a Facebook page, a Twitter account, whatever you do, if you're there to serve the other people, you don't have to worry about what people think of you or anything. Just do the best you can with the right spirit, with a servant attitude, and I think over time you're gonna have success. Well, anyway, after this is over, come to this acapulcowebdesign.com forward slash zoom, and you can check out these videos. And by the way, once you start them, I think most of y'all know this, but if you click start, in the bottom right-hand corner, there's a little gear, and these should be at high definition 1080p. But if you don't click on this little gear, see it's showing 480p. That's really blurry compared to if I click on quality and switch it to 1080p, it'll be a lot sharper. And then the other thing you can do is you can go full screen by clicking on this uh, little square here in the bottom right hand corner. So if I click this and then this. Lynn Woodfin, this is my personal Facebook page. It should and be. If you want to promote. Fairly clear. Um, now, why me? Well, I, I gotta tell you the truth. I, I had to work up to this because first of all, I don't have the time, at least in my mind. And I decided it was worth it. But I've been playing with social media for years and I'll just, I, you know, I haven't been paid for social media. So let me show you some results. Like uh, on my Twitter account, I signed up kind of early on and I've mostly done political things with it. So please ignore that. But like last month, uh, my top tweet was involving Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. I've got 8,473 likes. You can click view tweet activity. And they shared it with 200,000 uh, 200, people. 
and 12,000 people engaged with it means they clicked on it and read it or they responded, they retweeted it. Uh, people, you know, a few people follow me. That's just one tweet. And during that month, they gave me for free 2.13 million impressions. That means that they are able to track when people can read my tweet. They may be using a Twitter app or they may be logged in on their uh, iPhone or their um, iPad or tablet, laptop, PC. The more influence you build, the more people uh, it comes up in their feed. So when they scroll past yours, they probably read it. So I'd say probably about 1.75 million actually read it. That's a lot of power for free. Imagine your business getting that kind of traction. I'm gonna close that out because we're really not gonna talk about Twitter tonight. But I did a, a 15 videos on YouTube. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but YouTube is actually considered social media because you publish on a feed. A feed is like when you go to Facebook and you put up a blog post, it goes to the top and everything you said previously shifts down a level. And if you subscribe to a feed, like if somebody likes your content, they get a, a heads up every time you produce. So you wanna have followers. Well, on YouTube, I wanna show you, uh, even though I've only done 15 videos that are public, 1.5 million people have come and viewed my videos. Now, what if you had a video, like I did a video on a flashlight, 681,000 views. Now, I signed up for Amazon and Let me just show you like the video. I signed up on Amazon and uh, you can do that for free at the bottom in the Amazon Partners program. So if you are putting up content on your Facebook business page and you talk about something and recommend a product, by going to the bottom of Amazon, sign up for what they call their partner program, it's free. And they put a special blue bar or something like that across the top and when you click on it, they give you code. And even though you may not understand the code, if you just publish it on Facebook or your, your blog or, or, or underneath the YouTube video, if anybody clicks on that and purchases anything, then you make money. I think after eight sales during the month, you make around 8%. Well, I sold uh, a couple hundred products during three months, and then the flashlight that I had chosen to promote was discontinued. And I was so early to internet marketing, I didn't think, well, hey, Glenn, why don't you just review another product? But what you do is you put a, an affiliate link or a link to your Facebook business page and write a review or do a YouTube video. You can include pictures, whatever you want to express. And the more authentic and truthful you are, even if the product has some features you're not crazy about, people really like honesty. And that way they'll follow you. So next time you produce content, they'll automatically get a notice because it's on, they'll be on a subscription to your feed. And you want to build that following of people that subscribe to your content. But anyway, one thing that was very interesting is whenever they clicked on my flashlight link, I noticed that 25% of my sales that I got 8% on were DVD movies, and I never talked about them. So what happens is if they click on your coded link to you, then they come to Amazon, anything they buy in that session, you get credit for. So it's really, really powerful. I thought, wow, I'm selling 25% of all my views uh, for DVDs. I should create a movie re review site. I think I bought a domain but anyway, I got caught up in promoting other people's businesses and I got, you know, more job-like income and stuff like that. So anyway, I just wanted to talk about if you choose Facebook, which is what we're going to focus on today, it's not the only one 
you can focus on. I would recommend starting with Facebook because it has the largest active member audience. It's just built for social things. Um, and I would also recommend picking one social media site. So if you start with Facebook, Get some confidence with it. Get some results before you start trying to do them all because it's like spinning plates and one's going to start to wobble and it'll just be overwhelming. If you really want to do it right, you can grab all the top social media accounts and you don't have to work them up front. Just really focus on one, get a following, treat your followers right, give them good content, <clears throat> and you're good to go. Let me close that one out. Okay, and let's see, what else? Okay, on Facebook, now during those videos, I did a couple of shoots. So if you create a Facebook page and you don't finish it, you come over and click this drop down arrow, it's the last symbol on the right up in this blue bar, and they tell you other uh, pages you're associated with. And when you click see more, it shows them all. And I created one with a, just a stupid name to show you the videos. It's called Bees Good. It means nothing. I mean, I literally just typed in some gibberish. Uh, I don't know why it went there. Let's see. <laughs> uh, okay, here's Bees Good. And then I show you how to put up a profile page. I show you the measurements what works for PCs. Uh, you wanna put your good content in the middle if there are written words because on like a small iPhone, it cuts off a little bit on each side. But laptops and tablets and stuff, uh, you, you see it all from left to right. Now obviously my little graphic here, it doesn't matter because it's just almost a repeat pattern. <clears throat> well, then you come up here when you're ready to build it, and answer what your site's about, anything you wanna give them, come up here and click settings. And this first setting is page visibility. So if you feel uncomfortable about, you know, putting your site out there just as soon as you get started because you've never done it before, I recommend clicking edit. <clears throat> and then there's, uh, the default is it's published. So you have to click page unpublished and then they ask you why, there's another window that pops up that says why and you say, uh, I'm wanting to put more content and then another one pops up and anyway they've already pre-checked them so you can just choose the defaults and click save changes then it goes offline now you can come in here and just click edit on each of these and tell people what your channel's about now if you have a restaurant well what are you going to do uh how do you get a following um I was noticing I built a website for a, a friend. Uh, let me see if I can get to it, this little control. Okay, here it comes. A friend of mine, he's from Mexico. Matter of fact, I was over at his house last night. About four years ago, I put up this website, uh, Taco Grill. It's in uh, the Spartanburg area, Boiling Springs. And I did a Yelp account for him. And I did... Uh, I think he did a Facebook page. Well, if you type in a search for taco grill, just two separate words. Okay, this is his maps area. You have to sign up for this. It's free with Google, but they'll put you in the maps area, which is the first thing people see on a cell phone. So you're going to want to be in the maps. And now as far as who's at the top of the maps, you know, who makes the, the grade, it's a separate algorithm from the regular Google algorithm. But look at his reviews, 4.6 out of five, 347 views, and here's a link to his site. And by the way, it's just kind of interesting that the page besides the homepage that's seen the, month, the, the most uh, traffic is, uh, is the page with the menu. Everybody wants to know on their way down there. And then there's another page, I put it on a PDF and they can download it. But actually the reason I was at his house last night is he's redesigning the menu with some new menu items. So uh, that's why we got together. Okay, this should be a good overview that if you're entrepreneurial and if you have a little bit of a dream, I've just tried to give you 
a little bit of inspiration to get you over any humps of doubting yourself. Now let's talk about what you put on the content of your Facebook business page. Now for Taco Grill, they have business hours, they're gonna have a menu and so forth. If you are say a multi-level marketing person, um, you might want to just focus your content on helping anybody that's in a multi-level marketing company. You don't have to just talk to people that are specifically your organization, but what you do is you create content or you can go to YouTube and find other MLM leaders that you're impressed with, grab the embed code and put it on your Facebook business page and your timeline, just post it. Make a few comments yourself. You can create a video. Oh, and by the way, the reason I'm not sharing my face talking live is because my camera is so old, my webcam, it, it zooms in and out the whole time. Every five seconds, it goes out of focus, goes clear for a second, goes out, it, it would drive you nuts. So maybe another time we can do that. So I'm doing something called screen sharing. Now say you don't wanna put your face online. You can do uh, screen sharing. You could record it with Zoom, it's free. I'm using a free account. They have a, an extended version for like $10 a month, but I get to do a 40 minute call for free and you can do the same by getting a Zoom account. The other thing you can do is down here on this bottom bar, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little icon, it has a C on it. There's a screen recording program called Camtasia. So I can share my screen and talk and record a video, then upload it to Facebook, YouTube, Vimeo, whatever. Why would you do it? Well, I showed you that I created a video like a decade ago and have just totally ignored it for 10 years, 680,000 views. Now in the description, you can put a link to anything. There's, there's two lines approximately that show publicly and you can put like a 500 word description that the Google algorithm or the YouTube algorithm will, rhythm will see. But the first two lines, if you put in HTTP and then the rest of your domain name, and if it's a secured site, HTTPS, and if you put the whole thing in there, it turns it into a clickable link. <clears throat> so say you weren't comfortable showing your face, well, you could do what I'm doing and share your screen. You can click around. Uh, there's all kinds of things you can do without actually having to show your face online, worried is the house clean behind you, uh, in the camera shot, you don't have to worry about anything as far as your physical appearance or anything. You can just help people by sharing your screen and giving them pointers or tips or anything you want. If you're a restaurant and you're a Mexican restaurant, uh, Javier could talk about you know how he learned to cook in Mexico and and just share videos. Uh, just put up a little tripod in his kitchen and start filming. He doesn't even have to serve the dish on his menu, but he's gonna get a following. He could teach people to cook. So once people realize that you've got a big heart and you really care to create content that helps them and inspires them, people are gonna start liking his page, which helps your viewership. People are gonna start following, so every time you post, they get a notice. So you're gonna be more likely to get more views right up from the start, so say if you have a thousand followers, you put up new content, probably three quarters of those thousand followers will just come there just because they get a notice of it. And you just wanna keep growing your following. And again, I wanna go back to, say you're just totally uncomfortable, even creating a screenshot video like I'm doing right now, you can um, get an embed code from a YouTube video and, and put it on your Facebook thing, just a video that you thought was a lot, maybe put a title to it and maybe write one paragraph or longer and give your thoughts and tell them what you found of value in the video and, and what do you think? And they'll like it, they'll give you a thumbs up, they'll, they'll comment on it, any engagement is good. So anyway, I just wanted to talk about those first few basic things, just kind of get your entrepreneurial spirit excited and we'll go into other things like Facebook advertising is probably one of the most efficient things. Like if I wanted to uh, do advertising, they give you a slew of choices as, 
as to who you show the video to. You target your audience and you only pay when cl somebody clicks on your ad. So you choose who they're going to show it to. That's called impressions. So they say, what age group? Where do they live? Do you want to do just your zip code or do you want to do your whole state? What do you want to do? Uh, what is their income level? Are they male or female? Do you want this to go out to a group of people that already have big influence? Like you could go and look up somebody like Ray Higdon. Ray Higdon is a R-A-Y Higdon. You see it's already given a suggestion. Well, let's go to his Facebook page. Well, we could come to him. He's probably the top guy here. He's one of these. But let's just click on this and see if this is his business page. Okay, this is his business page. Well, you can put up his videos. You can come over here and start engaging, join his group, his Facebook group, and you can start commenting. Now, when you comment, you want to not self-promote because when you comment, there's going to be linked back to your site. You want to create value for his team of people. You're not there to steal his people. You're there to make content that's supportive, uh, educational, whatever. And if people like what you say, they'll click on your comment with this little icon here and they'll come back and they'll probably subscribe to your page and follow you also. And if Ray Higdon's group wants to follow me as I develop followers, that'll be fine. It, we're there to serve the people. And I know Ray Higdon, he's very targeted and very niched out, but he, um, he creates content that can help anybody with their marketing. And you know, last I heard, he was in some gold opportunity. I don't even know if that's true today. And he also sells his own training. He's absolutely huge. So you can type in somebody and follow them. You can type in, uh, again, using uh, network marketing, find the groups, not somebody's page, but groups of people. And I just chose network marketing. Here's Eric Worre. He's just absolutely huge in network marketing. And I did this earlier and I scrolled down and I saw Tony Robbins. If those are the type of people you want uh, following you, then, then you can... Um, get involved with what he's doing. Now, those are free techniques. Now, to speed it up, you can say, hey, I want to spend $30 on advertising. I want you to show it to these people, this demographic, for how long, and you tell them how much you're willing to spend. Do you want it all gone in three days and go fast, or do you want it stretched out over a three-week period? Well, if you do it, say, over a three-week period, every day, Facebook will say something like, we only spent three of the $20 you've invested and you know here's the people here's the traffic here's the stats here's how many people liked it that kind of thing so you can do it very affordably if you do want to spend money and speed it up otherwise you can use you know groups and comments and and just take time in growing it organically so anyway i hope that helps i don't know how to turn it on i wanted to have anybody that wanted to say something oh and i wanted to give a shout out to uh my friend William Bryant, uh, several years ago, almost a decade ago, he was like 19 or 20, and I kept hearing about WordPress to build blogs, and I was clueless. So I called him, and over the phone from memory, he taught me how to set up a WordPress blog, and I built like 500 WordPress sites now. And I want to thank you, William Bryant, my buddy. I miss you. He just texted me right before the call and said he's going to try to get on the call. Um, let me see if I can figure out how to allow you guys manage participants. Maybe that's it. Hey, we got 14 people on the call. Nice. Oh my goodness. Sage. Awesome. <laughs> Bodybuilder down there. I think y'all can talk by uh, hovering over something in the bottom left-hand corner. It should pop up a bar across the bottom and click unmute. If any of y'all have any questions, comments or anything, it's just a free for all until they cut us off. Hello? Yeah, this is Glenn. Uh, who's that speaking? Mikkel. Mikkel from Oklahoma? Yes. Hey, how you doing? 
Good, good. Can I show them your site we just built? Yeah, sure. This is Mikkel. We've never met in person, but a, a friend of mine uh, does pest control, and they were meeting through social media. They're not trying to make money off each other or anything. They're just being friends, sharing notes. And uh, we did some things to help uh, a site that he had, like, I don't know, three or four years ago to rank. And he stayed in touch with me, and he kept saying, hey, Glenn, when can you help me? I said, ah, maybe three months. Well, he called me a week ago and, and asked me to build a site. So I said, yes. Yeah. So he lives in the Tulsa, Oklahoma area. And so I built this site. And I learned in marketing, you create the problem for the people. So I said, our bed bugs bugging you and then call us and sleep like a baby and then uh, we go through the whole site what the problem is and we come down to how do you identify if you have the problem um, we come down here to uh, these are things that were reported to the county the department of health were beg bug instances so you can see it's real you're not just imagining things then we go back to the solution when you click on these it automatically calls uh, his number they can email them that kind of thing um go ahead Mikkel any thoughts or comments uh it looks great um uh all the information was very helpful you talked about I want I'm definitely interested in uh Facebook marketing because I know it's very helpful but it's also very confusing and in the past I've wasted a lot of money by just boosting posts and I know you're not supposed to do that now so creating ads and videos sharing videos on Facebook I think will be very beneficial for me learning that so well, kind of like your blog you could treat your Facebook page like your blog like um, when we put up this content you actually uh, share things to help them to you know educate themselves about bed bugs you've created content that uh, shows different ways to treat bed bugs. Uh, you even talk about how it creates phobias when people try to go to sleep knowing that something's gonna be biting on them all night and um, how to prepare your house. In other words, you, you did a lot of helpful content. So that's the kind of thing you would put up on a Facebook page. You don't always you know, just, just try to sell, sell, sell. Now, if you have a discount or a special promotion or anything like that, then you wanna occasionally mix those direct offers in there too. And the beauty about it is, is you're not out prospecting, you're not getting the face-to-face -face rejection. That's the beauty of the internet. If you create value for people, they will come to you and say, hey, I'm interested, and they'll get, the, the, can I call you and ask you a couple questions? Next thing you know, they're in business with you. Yeah, definitely. Well, I appreciate you showing up on this. I just sent out that little uh, message. Also, um, a friend and I, Sandy Pratt, she was a huge Amway Diamond. Uh, I was involved for 10 years back in Florida, and uh, we hadn't talked to each other in a, a few years. And then recently, a mutual friend said, hey, Sandy wants to talk to you. So Sandy and I have probably, probably had 30 communications in the last three weeks. And she got excited about this idea because we built our marketing business face-to-face -face and on the phone, and we faced a lot of rejection. And that still works to this day, but we both mutually purchased some training online of people that have been, built their network marketing business and other businesses without rejection. So we've been following their guidance and you know, we can tell you about that more later if you're interested in that kind of education, but um, I'm not sure if Sandy was able to make it on. She texted me right before. Sandy, if you wanna unmute, you can uh, say hi to everybody and just express your thoughts. Hey, can you hear me? Yeah, she's up in Asheville <laughs> right now, North Carolina. I am in out, and the thing about bed bugs was really creepy because we've started getting them in the hospitals now. Oh my God. <laughs> we have like homeless people come in and then they infect the beds with bed bugs and nobody wants oh, to go in the room. <laughs> oh, scary stuff uh, while you're sleeping, they're nibbling on you. <laughs> yeah. um, Sandy, what's your impression of doing it this way uh, as opposed to traditional marketing of any business, you know, where people 
Oh, I think this way sounds so much more efficient. And I see a lot of you guys on there from our old days of MLM world. And how many miles did we put in driving all over, <laughs> driving all over the U.S. and then flying all over the world building businesses where if we could do it online, it would be so much easier. Well, it's been a great joy to reconnect and also be in agreement on this. Uh, we've been just chatting up a storm, sometimes text messages. Sandy became a nurse practitioner and oh my God, she works 12 hour shifts. So she's interested in diversifying, even though she's got her master's in nursing. Um, you know, I, I, I'm in my fifties now and <clears throat> I'm still working on my retirement. So <laughs> I'm interested in ways that, um, I can take with me. 10 years ago, I was living in Brazil. I couldn't work in their market. So I said, gosh, what if I learn how to market online? And it took me three years to make a full-time income. And uh, I've stayed with it ever since then. So now I have skills, didn't know a thing, scared to death in the beginning, felt totally awkward. And um, now I've made a living at it from home, which was my dream is to be able to work from home or while you're traveling, do something on your laptop, just get an internet connection. So I've got part of my dream, haven't gotten rich yet, <laughs> but uh, it's great to wake up and pour a cup of coffee and just, you know, come to your computer and start helping people. I don't have a timer, but I think I had 40 minutes from around the time I started. So I may have to wrap this up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and publish this week. I'm starting with you guys. So my Facebook page, I decided I went through like three names. I was going to call it people rising. And then I found out somebody had a, like a Twitter account with people rising. I said, Oh, I want to be able to get an account. So, um, anyway, I changed it. So I'll put that up and let you know and announce, uh, and then I'll start putting content up on Facebook and then I'll back it up with a blog. Um, I'll keep y'all in touch and uh, appreciate y'all showing up. If there's anybody else that wants to say anything before they cut us off, I will, uh, I, I, this is supposed to be recorded. I hope I didn't mess up. I, I can't really tell if it's being recorded. Um, I put the settings so that it does record it. So hopefully this will be recorded so you can share it with others if you think they would find value in it. Anybody else wants to say hi? hi. I don't know if you can hear me, Glenn. Yes. Hi, this is Sage. Oh, Sage. Now, Sage Hello. Hi. Uh, <laughs> Finally got to meet. We uh, built a couple sites online together. Uh, oh my God, five years ago. And then one time I was in Orlando and she's a bodybuilder and just gorgeous, charismatic, powerful personality. Uh -oh. <laughs> so we met like 11 PM one night and shared a beer together and we haven't seen each other since. So when I just texted her out of the blue today, I was just really excited to talk to you again so what's going on sage what do you think about this marketing oh well it's it's very exciting yeah I'm, i mean i'm i'm definitely interested in talking to you more about it um i kind of missed the first few minutes of what what you went through but i was wondering if you had anything to say about instagram it's it's fantastic you can pick any of the major ones and and focus up focus it on that and you can look like when I want to learn something, I just go to YouTube. Uh, let's just do that. Okay. And instead of spending money, start with uh, just finding people that are uh, like what I'm saying, willing to give it up for free. So let's talk, let's just type in Insta Graham marketing. There it is. Boom. And then 2009, if you want to be specific and then just start watching some of these videos and, and uh, if you're logged into your account, if you follow them, they'll pull up in your feed. So anytime they publish, you'll, you'll get more information. Some of these you won't relate to, but there are women that have just torn it up. They do exercise routines. I follow this gal that, uh, oh my God, her life story, her whole life fell apart, divorced. She had a single kid. She was totally broke, losing everything. And she started doing workout stuff. Now she's this huge influencer. And uh, both Pinterest and Instagram are fantastic fantastic if you are you know focused on like graphics and you can I mean you can write and put links back to your blog whatever you want but absolutely okay so you're saying 
you just do that search. So basically just educating ourselves on how to push our own brand forward. Yeah, I mean, eventually I'll teach it. I have to be honest, I haven't focused on Instagram, so I could just give you like general ideas, but they all pretty much work the same. Create content, follow other people on Instagram, follow other influencers in your field, and say it's a bodybuilder that's not in your market or a, a personal trainer. Um, matter of fact, for fun, let's show them personal trainer. Let's let them see who you are. Personal trainer okay. Orlando. <laughs> this is the first site I built for. I've got two. Let's see if this pulls up. There she is. Okay. Down Orlando. And we right. have a before and after picture. Here she is. And then she gets into bodybuilding, goes from uh, plain to ravishing. And um, she's got this awesome video online working out on the beach. Uh, anyway, that's Sage. Uh, Sage Hansen. But yes, Instagram would be a perfect platform for you. You're welcome to stay in touch with me. But I mean, I'd be learning at the same time you are. So I'm just going to take it one bite at a time as far as what I'm doing. Uh, uh, so I'm starting with Facebook. Okay. All right. I would recommend so, getting all the major accounts just as a placeholder. So if you've got a unique name and you don't want anybody else to get it, um, just grab them, you know, take an hour and sign up for five or six of them and, and you're done. It's, you know, it's just, you know, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube, uh, Twitter. I think, I think that's about it. And so if you have, so I'm sorry, I, I feel like I'm interrupting you, but no, so you're, if you you're have fine. different, thank you. Thank you, Glenn. So if you have different, like if you want to open accounts and you have names in mind, you're saying go out there and open, like, don't wait, like go out there and open them up so that somebody else doesn't get them. Yeah. Just take it off the market, especially if okay. it's a branded creative name uh, that somebody else could think of. Okay. Yeah. Right. Thank you. I like to put keywords that people are searching for. Uh, so my Facebook page, I can tell you one of the keywords, it's going to have marketing in it. And since I'm talking about marketing and being an influencer on social media for whatever business you want to promote, just the general word marketing, I want it in it. And I'm probably just going to put my name in it, you know, and, and I want to develop a following of people that trust me. Um, and I'm just going to pour out content and occasionally recommend products that have helped me. And then they can judge for themselves if, if, if they want to, to, to buy them. Or if I'm going to go to a seminar and fly to Las Vegas and I want some buddies to go with me, I'm going to announce it on my Facebook page and say, hey, I'm going to go. I'm going to fly out there and I'll call my buddy in, in San Diego, a golf pro, and say, hey, why don't you meet me at this meeting? Why don't you fly over for 50 bucks? and attend this meeting with me. So I want the influence where people trust me and that's what you want to become as an authority. So you want to be very giving. You want to put kindling in the fireplace before you expect to get heat. So give away good things to people until they learn to trust you. And they can be total strangers that find you through your keywords or because you follow another influencer in the same field and then you make supportive comments, you like what they're doing, that kind of thing, and they'll click on your icon next to your comment, come over and they'll start following you too. And it's especially good if they're not in your market. Say, say there's a personal trainer in, in LA, you're not threatened by them at all. Right. Yeah, so you were saying, you said something about, so if you go to somebody that's in your same market and leave a comment, you wanna, you wanna offer something that's productive and, provides value for other people and also hopes that that influencer goes and checks you out. Yes. And, 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 you know, starting with their followers, I mean, if they start to notice you too, they might want to be friends with you and then you can do what's called uh, like joint ventures. Uh, it can be paid or a mutual swap. Like if you find somebody that's uh, a little bigger than you, uh, and you become friends through Instagram and they have a following, you can cross pollinate. So they, they put up a little post about you promoting you and you do the same for your audience and you share an audience and it doesn't hurt you because they're say out of your market. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. And you grow faster and you can pay 
for a big influencer, excuse me, a, a medium sized influencer, maybe with 30, 40,000 followers, you can pay them 50 to $100 for 24 hours to put up an Instagram post. Um, and you'll get traffic like crazy if it's a, if it's a perfect fit. Oh, wow. Oh, that's good to know. Yeah. So, I mean, if you are willing to put a little bit of money in, or if you just want to do it organically for free, you can do what I was talking about, the cross pollination where you find somebody about your same level and you share and you, you promote each other as a, as an agreement. All right. Well, thank you. Pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Um, same for Pinterest. I mean, I, I got a Pinterest account years ago and I got 200 followers. I put up two pictures. Haven't <laughs> signed in in like eight years. <laughs> <laughs> and it's also a good idea to get your name, uh, you know, your personal name too. If it's already taken, then then you don't have to worry about it. You can just create a branded uh, account. But uh, there is a guy named Gary V, and I was watching his wine tasting videos on YouTube like eight years ago. And his uh, his name is Gary Vanderchuk. And he was helping his dad for free by expanding his dad's liquor store by focusing on wines. And he's really opinionated in New Jersey. He's got curse words. He's really loud mouth, but he got a really big following. He turned his dad's online uh, shipping business of wine uh, to uh, like $60 million. So he's become a legend. And he says that uh, Facebook working a deal with, influencers whether paid or just mutual agreement and um youtube he said even if you pay for the advertising right now it's so cheap the public has figured this out before corporations and he thinks over the next two years because of the competition the price will continue to go up and it'll be more competitive for the advertising dollars on these platforms so he says do it now Ah, oh, that's good. That's interesting. I here he is right here. Uh, <laughs> he just happens to be. Um, here's 2019. He's speaking in London, <laughs> and um, if you manage a team, you professional you marketers love this guy. He's doing a Q and A here, but um, it's. Gary V, that's V E E uh, TV on YouTube. And like I say, if you're not uh, comfortable with uh, his street language, <laughs> he's a freaking genius. He's amazing. And Eric Worre is another guy you can follow for marketing. Oh, there's all kinds of people, everybody from Tony Robbins, fitness instructors. They do it all online. And a lot of them end up creating an incredible lifestyle for themselves by first helping others. Hey, Sage, we'll have to get on the phone and catch up. Oh, yes, definitely. Yes, I would love that. Let's do it. Big virtual hugs. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you too. Hugs. Say hi to Christopher if, 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 uh, if you run into him. Yeah, I will. I definitely will. I will tell him you said hello. Yeah, we, we talk about once a year. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> and that's how I met. Uh, Sage is I'd worked with Christopher on a couple projects and he had met Sage and he says, Hey, I want you to help a friend of mine. So <laughs> that's how Sage yeah. and I met. Um, anybody else wants to say hi? I have no idea if this stops. I'm sure I've gone beyond 40 minutes. So if it's still recording, I, I hope it is. Just bottom left hand corner, take it off mute and just start talking. All right. Hey. Who's this? It's Michael. Oh, Michael, uh, the gentleman that owns the newspaper. That's right. I came in late. Sorry about that. But it oh, that's okay. Good. You're a busy man with grandchildren and feeding everybody yeah. all the time. I'm glad you're on. Hey, uh, tell him what you, uh, you and I started. Let's show him your website. Anybody want to check it out? He does conservative news in South Carolina. He calls itself the standardsc.org. 
So I created this uh, site for him. He hired two other web designers and uh, kind of got a little screwed over. So we built a site because a friend recommended me and we put up his original content here. And then we have feeds from all these other top conservative sites. So kind of a one-stop shop and they're, they're constantly updated as soon as these other sites publish. Uh, tell them what uh, you did with Facebook that really gave you a big boost of a, a, a few thousand people, even though you're brand new to this site. I just had um, I had some of my authors put the um, put their article on their Facebook, and I asked them to spread it around, and they did, and it went crazy. I remember the first one was Mr. Connor, and yeah. you said, "Hey, I, I here's your here's a link to your article on our newspaper site." Uh, consider sharing it on Facebook. And he did, and all of a sudden, boom, it went crazy. Then you did another one, and boom, it went crazy. And it's private, but we could show them the stats. Like we have Analytify, we have three different site uh, traffic stats. And, you know, he, we just built this just a few weeks ago. I, I know he's way over 10,000 views on a brand new site. And we paid wow. zero money for advertising. Yeah, that's yeah, it, it, it's done pretty decent so far, you know, it's, I'm not satisfied with it, but uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm, con I'm content for I'm content for now. But, uh, you know, I want it to I want it to grow a lot more. And um, it, it's, it takes a lot of time, though, you know, I mean, to put get content and put it on there. And um, so you've got to be able to budget your time and for the things that you need to do and with a newspaper type format. It takes a lot of time to get content and then people to write and then to get it marked up the way you want it. And we did another thing. We put a, uh, like on his, uh, we call it a blog. This is uh, all his writers and the latest post goes to the top when you click on the title. But we, we, we put an RSS feed, people that know how to use those. Uh, he, uh, you got a donation like what after we had this up like a week and a half? Yeah. That was pretty cool. Yeah. <clears throat> And people can subscribe by email uh, for free. He didn't even have to pay for an autoresponder. They just put their email address in there. And every time he posts new content, they get an email with a summary and they can click on a link and then they come back to his blog. So that's going to be something he's going to want to grow over time is to subscribe to his, artist or his blog post. So um, yeah, it takes time to grow it, but you know, I just wish I'd been doing what I'm doing tonight 10 years ago. I, I was, too afraid, didn't have any confidence in myself. And I really don't even have time to do what I'm doing tonight, but I decided um, to get started because this is something I want to do. I think I would enjoy sharing tips and learning from others for years to come. So I finally, you know, pulled the trigger and, and, and overcame my own objection, fears and anxiety and started doing it. Well, well you're doing a great thing. Looking forward to doing great things with you. I appreciate you calling in tonight and contributing. It, it's it's still letting us talk I, I i don't know anybody else wants to say anything and if we get silence i'll just uh bid you adieu anybody's welcome to say hi hey glenn it's danny well hey danny miss orlando hi, hey. you do a lot of techniques uh could you Describe a couple of the techniques that I don't even know about, like you, the chat bot and whatever other techniques. So, um, I haven't started a chat bot, but I have been involved in a group that had a chat bot. And um, it was extremely beneficial to anyone who has any kind of mar uh, sales position that they're doing, um, whether you're selling Mona V, Juice Plus, anything. Um, it helps to have a direction with these chat bots that continually tell you what to do. So it's like a, a guide on how to help yourself in growing your business every single day, giving you a task that you have to complete in order to do it. Um, I have not taken full advantage of this and I absolutely should have. Um, I've been kind of multitasking, trying to pick what I need to do. You don't want to be a jack of all trades and a master of none. 
And I know a friend uh, of mine uh, signed up through your influence. So you, I, I know you're an influencer. So yes, I and I see Carolina she signed on. up. Girl named Kathy. I'm saying hi to Kathy, Kathy, Kathy. <laughs> And uh, I know Kathy's excited about these techniques. One day we were talking and texting back and forth and she says, Hey, I'm part of this uh, Facebook group and they're doing training. And um, so I said, Hey, let me sign up. <laughs> so I think I got involved with their chat bot. Perhaps I started getting uh, updates on their latest content and they gave me some extra content I can check out. And it comes out all the time because I'm a subscriber. It should so, be. The, are you talking about the Incredibles? Yes, the incredible yeah, team. They are, they're amazing. Um, that is one very well organized oiled machine. Um, Tina, Tina Joy, who started that whole chat bot, that woman is on fire with CBD and she is actually the person that I am under with uh, HempWorks. And then, um, it, well, it's her at the top, the chain of the command. And then the person under her is a very close friend of mine who I signed up. So she's our, she's our big, or the big dog up top. Um, what, what techniques are you using? Um, are you using Facebook or? I am things? using Facebook and Instagram. I'm, I'm trying to learn Instagram a little bit better than what I've been doing. Um, one of the things, and I actually, Kathy and I had a, a talk about this today via text and um, I'm trying to transition my personal business or my personal page from the business that I've been doing. I have so many friends on Facebook right now um, that are on my personal page that have not transitioned over to my business page. And I really want to keep my personal, my personal and business business. And so I have been doing a lot of lives on Facebook to um, just consistently keep myself in the news feed. Um, I transitioned from being a huge chicken of keeping <laughs> everything private to I went public. And that changed things drastically from where I was. And it was just more so of an, a, a personal fear. You know, you just hear about all these things of like, no, you've just let your friends see your post. Don't let anybody public, but I'm never going to grow my business. If I don't let other people know besides the people that I'm close to that I'm out there. So, um, that made a big difference just by changing my profile settings to changing it from prop from friends only to public. Um, did you, do a, still, a, did you do a fan page or a, what they call a Facebook business page? I did a Facebook business page. Um, yeah. I have that as my real estate page, my personal page. I still have kept that private and then I choose to make posts public, but everything on my business page goes public. That, that was a big deal for me and the lives, to be honest, um, just keeping it consistent, making myself present on the same day every week so that people know that I'm going to bring them something of value every week. Um, that was huge too. I didn't want to just be a pusher of my business and just constantly saying, Hey, buy a house for me, or you can do this for me. Um, I How want to do that. To How do you go about um, finding something to share of value? Uh, you know, so a lot of, yeah, that's a good question. So scratch your head about that. I know I did when I first heard about this concept 10 years ago, I, well, I was like, Holy cow. How do you, how do you create content when, you know, I'm not a pro at this yet. Um, how did you decide what to put so out? One day, um, how this all got started was I saw something that was actually about just general safety. Um, and it was for a, a real estate that somebody had gotten hurt, um, attempt to somebody attempted to, I don't really know what kind of physical abuse they were trying to do, but it brought it out there. Then like, you know, let me talk about safety awareness and how to handle yourselves, not even just in real estate, but people in general. And so that triggered me to meet up with a gentleman who I, um, I, this is where the big push came. There was something before that, but I'm, I'm, it's not really worth mentioning at this point because this was where I saw the shift. Um, I was, I was given his name by a friend who said that he's great at martial arts. He's a self-defense teacher. And so I called him up and I said, is it possible for me to speak with you 
um, to do a Facebook live. And I said, it'll help you to, you know, promote your business. It'll help me promote my business. Um, but I wasn't promoting it in a way that's like, Hey, look, here's me. It was like, Hey, this is me bringing something important to you. And that whole entire Facebook live interview with him went crazy. I had so many people on watching. Um, then they were all engaging and asking questions about how they could sign up for classes with him, how they could communicate with him. Um, and so that kind of just triggered every, just looking for something every Friday. Um, I try to think of something so that I can either communicate with the people on Friday in the afternoon or on Monday to set it up for the day that I do it, which is every Thursday. And it just is a matter of finding out what's going on local. You know, are there local events and festivities that are taking place um, that people don't know about and it's coming up into the weekend and you want to let people know. And it doesn't even have to be a Facebook live. It can just be a post <coughs> saying, Hey, guess what guys? Like that. We just had the Mount Dora seafood festival that happened here um, over the weekend. And if people didn't know about it, and had no clue, especially if they're not from the Mount Dora area, you could either a go out there yourself and do a Facebook live on it, or just take a couple shots, which I did. Um, my husband and I went down there to eat some food and I took a picture of the van that was out there, the food truck that was, um, cousins, main lobster, which was actually on shark tank and Barbara Cochran from shark tank uh, sponsored them and had, wow. they've been, yeah, huge. So they were down there. We waited in line forever for a lobster roll and some clam chowder, but I put posts on that on my, um, business page just saying, Hey, cause I went on Saturday. I said, Hey guys, don't know if you're aware of this or what's going on in the weekend, but this is a great place for you to go. And I just posted it. So look for things that you would want that are important to you. Is there something that you want to do as far as a class that's, that's like the safety that I did? Um, is there events that are coming up? Are there, there are local things that maybe might be encouraging to parents with kids because you are a parent that has children that moms and dads are always looking for something good for their kids to do. And it only needs to be five to 10 minutes. It doesn't have to be long if you're going to do your live, but it has definitely shifted my exposure by doing that. Um, and now I'm trying to learn Instagram because Instagram's a little tricky. I haven't quite figured that out yet, but like you said earlier, I Google a whole bunch of different stuff in YouTube things to try to figure out how it all works. Or I ask my, you know, 14 year old children and 17 year old who can do it like with their eyes closed. <laughs> so you, you brought up two points. One, uh, to create content is you go out and find good things. So you become a central hub of announcing mm -hmm. your followers would be interested in. So you're like a curator. So you create value Absolutely. by exploring the internet and then you put all the goodies all in one place on your content. Another Correct. Thing be, like you said, is to interview. Like I know Doug Weed built a huge Amway organization like 30 years ago and he's no longer active in Amway, but he would do uh, an interview and, he would become the content just because we became friends. This is a site right. uh, some friends and I built for him about six years ago. I, I, I met a couple guys through real estate and we worked together as a three way uh, for a company called location cube. There were two Americans living in uh, Romania and we're mm -hmm. still doing uh, things all the time. Like this pops up and you see a book for sale. He's now got a new book coming out on Trump where he actually interviewed Trump and Ivanka. And so he got the authorized edition. So we're going to be swapping this out. So oh, Doug wow. is a friend through social media. And, and mm -hmm. you know, I reached out to him online when I was living in Brazil and said, Hey, I've got this real estate seminar. You're the greatest speaker I've ever heard. Would you, would you consider flying into Atlanta? I'll fly in from Brazil and I've got a few hundred people there. And he came in with a friend and we've been doing stuff together ever since. As a matter of fact, he's probably referred to about $400,000 of income for myself uh, over the last 10 years. Wow. And this was in, like on Twitter, uh, Fox mm -hmm. News, Charles Payne follows me. Barack Obama 
follows me. Oh, wow. That's Larry the cool. Cable Guy responded to <laughs> one of my tweets. I yeah. like that guy. I met him once. He's pretty funny. <laughs> Catherine Temp on the uh, Greg Gutfeld show. She and I had like 30 exchanges in a row. We kind of got upset with each other. And uh, Oh, how funny. And I just sent her a tweet the other day. Uh, Candace Owens, she's this uh, big influencer now, just popped up out of nowhere. And she's written me several direct messages. Um, so through social media, you can expand uh, by having goodwill towards influencers. And if mm -hmm. they don't see you as somebody that's just trying to scam them or take advantage of them and steal their audience, if you actually are a team player with them and you support them, they become your friends and then they'll do yep. an interview with you. And that creates content without you having to do everything. Well, it's funny that you say that because that's actually what I was going to like end my note on with this is um, you have to not be afraid uh, like, cause I think a lot of people are afraid to put ideas out there because they're afraid of competition. Like, Ooh, somebody's going to copy my idea or somebody's going to do what I'm doing. And you know, to me, like they always say, if somebody is copying you, that's the highest form of a compliment that you can get. <laughs> And so it's better to team up with people and try to find a way to make it work. There's enough business out there for everybody to be successful. Um, and I really, I, I saw that this weekend I did a, um, right now there's a, I'm doing a giveaway on my, on my, my business page. That's a for, great idea. Uh, yeah. It's for a fall, a fall basket. And it's, uh, I linked up with a photographer friend, a friend of mine that is actually doing this and helping me. So we teamed up and I just so happened where we went to take the photo shoot of the gift, the gift basket. She was doing a photo shoot and there were three other photographers that were there with her just helping her out. And they constantly do that for each other. So they're not worried about stepping on each other's toes. They're trying to figure out a way of how they can all help each other grow their business because sometimes there's, you know, where she can't, she can't get to something, but somebody else could. So she refers it over. So, um, just don't, I'll leave it with this, with everybody with social media that I'm starting to learn. Cause I am by far no guru. I am like so incredibly green at this. Um, I just figure be real. Don't, don't try to fake, fake it out. Don't try to, um, figure out every week. Oh, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? And then you think of something phony or fake, or that's just not going to help somebody out. That's what you need to do is you need to be real, be you talk about real things. Cause that's what people relate to. You can see enough mumbo jumbo, you know, on television that's fake and phony and, that's for TV, but for people, they want real people. That's who they associate with. And that's what I'm trying to do with this is keep it real. Um, my, my segment is a living local segment. I tr strictly try to stay here in my Lake County, the Tri-County area to support local businesses in hopes that eventually it'll come back around to me. It may not be something that happens overnight, but eventually it will. And I know that. So you just got to continue finding the good stuff, the fun stuff, the informative stuff that people are going to want to hear. And that's when you'll start to see that there's going to be engagement and whether that's through Facebook, Twitter, um, Instagram, any of them. And, or if you're linking them all together somehow, that's how it works. And that's kind of what I've been noticing. And it's been a shift for me and don't be afraid. Um, so many people are afraid of what I, I was one of them. What are people going to, what do you look like? You know, camera and a camera adds 20 pounds, 10 pounds here. Like just do it. It, you just do it. Cause eventually you get comfortable and people aren't looking at that. People are looking at what you're saying and what, and what could potentially be uh, a bonus for them is like, Ooh, like, like this, I'm, I did a live for a giveaway. If your hair's not perfect, your smile isn't exactly the way. And if you fumble, I'm not scripted. I don't script anything. Um, that's the worst thing that you can probably do is script it because people know it and then you just lose them. So that's kind of my advice for everybody.
Well, is, you know, be meeting real. you in person many times and, you know, being in your wedding and everything, you're just a super authentic person. So just thank you. Just be yourself and you're going to attract a following. You're going to help a lot of people. And um, I went over to my Mexican friend's uh, house last night and uh, had a beer out on the porch. His wife was sleeping on the couch inside. So we stayed outside. Then when she had enough sleep, she said, hey, come in, come in, get out. There's moss flying around your head. So <laughs> I'm just sitting there and we haven't seen each other in two years. And, you know, I've kept his website up and he sees the results. And um, she reaches in her purse and she pulls out this stack of 20s. I said, that's Whoa. the biggest stack of 20s I've seen in years. And she handed it to me. I said, I can't take this. We had no business arrangement. She did it as a thank you. And I got tears in my eyes. Wow. So, that's, I mean, that's, that's awesome. exactly the kind of person you are. I've only, I've only had that you. happen twice to me in 10 years where somebody just surprised me with just a gift. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's amazing what people do sometimes when you just allow your, like I said, you just allow yourself to be real and be you. And that's what, that's what comes through. People see that. They don't, people, people will see right through phony. Well, we are eye to eye on that. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll wrap things up. We'll have other yes. webinars. I, I wanted to try it live. I figured if just one person came on, but uh, right now we've, we've, we've got 13 still on. I, I don't know why it's still going. They only give you 40 minutes. So I don't, I hope I'm recording it. Well, according, Glenn, just so you know, uh, this is still showing that it's recording on our end here wow. from what we can see. But what I was going to say to you is where does the recording, because I, I didn't come in till a little, like a little after 930, where will the recording be for those of us who have come in late that couldn't capture what you were talking about in the beginning? I'll put it up on this uh, page I showed a minute ago that- Which uh, one is that Acapulco one? Acapulco Web Design. For now, since I haven't built a website for this, I just put it on a page that nobody sees except you guys, but Acapulco Web Design. Uh, Is that something you can message us in on Facebook Messenger so we have the link to it? Yeah, and I need to publish my Facebook page. I can put it there. I can okay. put it on a new blog. But right now, if you go to uh, Acapulco Web Design and then Zoom, I'll put it up okay. there. I'll embed the video there. And this is the okay. link you go to. This is not public. I mean, anybody that has this link can go to it, but I, right. it's not published up in the okay. nav bar. So nobody knows but you guys. And these two videos, and I'll, I'll just put it on top of these two for now. Okay. And then I'll publish the Facebook page. Um, another thing, um, you know, I was trying to decide whether I wanted to, you know, start sharing stuff. And I said, you know, I questioned myself, God, do I even have anything to share? And I started thinking about it and even praying about it. And um, I was thinking about things I've done over the years that would be worthwhile for people. But like, I was talking about Doug Weed, uh, he could probably come on one of these and we could interview him. He's made millions in network marketing. But um, if you go to Glenn Woodfin, and then in the nav bar, click on the bio page, I described some things. I just sat down one day. It's, you know, kind of an amalgamation, but this is GoDaddy calling me to come out and speak to the company. I actually recorded the call. Oh, that's cool. Hey, Glenn, Mike here from GoDaddy. Just wanted to touch base with you and talk a little bit about, um, you know, what it would cost to get you out of here, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I can, once I find out, I, I'm going to take the question forward to uh, my budgeting folks. Um, I didn't solicit that. We were just working together on a project. Uh, he was providing me customer service and uh, I got this invitation. Here's a guy that uh, was a VJ on MTV in the 80s. Uh, we became friends. So I did a favor for them and they announced it on the show. Dvorak.org slash NA. I have a big PR thank you to go out. And uh, I'm just going to say he's a producer, Glenn, because uh, he does this professionally. And I want to make, don't want to get him in any trouble. Um, he says, uh, I built a few thousand backlinks to your main site so that SeanHannity.com wouldn't come up number one when searches for no agenda or no <laughs> Google. Uh, looks like my work helped. Go ahead, John. Type in no agenda on Google. Look what happened. Look what this guy's okay, done hang for on, us. Hang on. This guy. Yeah, you know, I actually saw this. Uh, you saw I the change? A few days ago. When but look at it.
anyway, they play good cop, bad cop for a while. John's skeptical, Adam's being supportive. And then in the end, John is like, wow, this is a big deal. Then he wrote me personally. Well, he wrote for PC Magazine. I've never met him in person, John, for thir like 30 years. He's been a tech writer and lives out in San Francisco. So what a compliment. Um, I got asked to do uh, the search engine optimization for a presidential candidate, Ron Paul, a paid position. So I put this little emblem here and said, hey. I yeah, was wow. But I, you know, I, I, um, I, uh, I, I try to make it clear that I, I don't work for the White House. <laughs> but anyway, Doug, <laughs> you know, I did some free things for Doug Weed. And next thing you know, he's sending me referrals, getting all these great uh, clients. And he knew people that had money and were successful and ambitious. But he called me one day after we had been working together. He said, Glenn, you know I write about presidential history. Chelsea Clinton is getting married in three weeks. I want to be number one on Google for uh, the search phrase, Chelsea Clinton wedding. So I said, well, let me show you. There's a free thing. You'll have to build the website. I'll just, I'll give you the 10 minutes instruction. You can build your own free website on Weebly and I'll start promoting it immediately. And uh, anyway, here's the results. He's number one, not just for Chelsea Clinton wedding. The weekend she got married, he was number one with Chelsea, Chelsea Clinton wedding watch.com. It's just a, you know, a quick jiffy thing. He learned how to do in 10 minutes and then Google, it was such a hot search. They even put this thing down at the bottom about how it's trending and blowing up. And then I logged into his Weebly in the back office. And this is a three week span of time. And you see, I'm getting no traffic and then boom, the weekend of her wedding, we hit number one and it went crazy. And then Lester Holt on ABC mentioned the site. So here's Lester Holt. We're back now with more on Chelsea Clinton's big day. It's one of the most talked about weddings of the year. And as NBC's Nora O'Donnell reports, when it comes to the weddings of first children, there is plenty of history and tradition. For presidential children, White House weddings are secluded ranch in Crawford, Texas. I'm trying to find the place where he interviews Doug Weed. Weed is a presidential historian, the author of All the President's Children and the founder of Chelsea Clinton WeddingWatch.com. I wish I thought of that first. Doug, good morning. Nice. So by the time he'd done this, this goes up to about 80,000 views a day on a three week old site. So see how all that came together? Uh, these types of little surprises happen for you guys. You just have to get in the game. It can be life changing for you. Um, so anyway, we'll stay in touch. Uh, you come back to this site and you can check out these two quick videos. I think they're a, a total of about six or seven minutes. If you watch both of them total, this one's like two minutes. So this one might be like three minutes and you can get your Facebook started and then we'll go through how to set up a Facebook on future videos, different calls and stuff. And we'll figure this out. I'm learning right along with you. I've never reached out to the public and say, hey, I want to teach this. I've always thought about it. Um, I, I, I did have a billion dollar company fly me in to, to do uh, uh, two seminars for their sales team, uh, one in Vegas and one in Salt Lake City, Utah. But other than that, in 10 years, I, I've kept it all to myself. So I, I, I just decided I want to share it. So if you guys want to grow with me, I'm new to this too, uh, as far as actually building a Facebook page and getting influence and helping people uh, brand new to me. And I want to uh, just, just grow with you. So you guys that are here in the beginning, let's just do it together. And, you know, whatever's holding you back, just let it go. It's just too fun. Um, you know, it's not all going to be roses. I mean, there's, you know, bumps along the way. I made mistakes, said the wrong thing. I, I'm sure I'll do the same again, but, uh, people that know that you have their best interests at heart, they're very forgiving and will stick with you and you can grow a following. And these people will give you ideas and tips that will help you mutually. You guys, I mean, just talking to you tonight, it, it it's inspired me, uh, to do even more. So thank you all for contributing. I, I guess uh, when I click stop, I don't think y'all can see it, but it puts this little bar and when you hover over it, it drops down. I don't think you can see it, but then on the far right, it says more and then it says end meeting. 
So uh, let me click the chat one more time. I'm just kind of curious who who showed up. Mikel, he's still there. I see you guys are chatting. That's good. Um, Sandy Pratt, uh, David Buffalo. I met David through real estate, and for years he's talked to me about. Uh, he's an investor out of his house, and he's done many other business projects. He's always got something moving and shaking. We meet over at a Mexican restaurant uh, about 30 miles uh, away from each of us. And uh, occasionally I brought a friend named John Bechtel uh, one time, and we've just been friends ever since. Um, Sandy Pratt, David Buffalo. Oh, they, they, oh, this is the chat. These are, okay. These are people. Uh, Kathy Carden was here. I met Kathy, of all people. Uh, <clears throat> David Root, a friend of mine, just recommended, hey, Glenn, they've uh, got this awesome discount grocery store, which I'd never heard of other than Walmart saying they're a discount grocery store, but I went into Kathy's Banana Box restaurant, uh, uh, it's a restaurant, uh, grocery store, and she had this awesome olive oil from Italy that still had the pulp in it, and I'd shake it up, and I just love that flavor. It's, it's kind of hard to get, so I'm stacking it up, you know, and, and um, I was asking her, hey, is she going to get any more in? We, we met and then the next time I came, I got to meet her husband. And uh, then she and I flew to a business trip in Orlando a few months ago. So we've been friends ever since. And it's just kind of cool. Um, there's Danny. <coughs> okay, that's the chat. I don't know how I tell the 13 that are actually logged in. But anyway, I appreciate y'all's support. And I really um, will put my heart into it. And uh we start today. And even though I wasn't ready, didn't have my re website ready, my Facebook page, I just went ahead and jumped into it. I watched one video tutorial for about 20 minutes on how to do one of these webinars. And I tried to do it from memory, <laughs> a little bit nervous, but I think, I think we had a great time. I think we're off to something great. Um, what else? Remote control anecdote. That's it. So guys, thanks for coming on. If you didn't get a chance to speak, maybe another time, I'd love it. And maybe I can even interview you sometime. Otherwise, I'm going to click end meeting and see if it'll record. I, I have the free version. So they download it to my computer rather than uh, the cloud. If I pay, they'll put it in the cloud. And they let you go longer, have more participants, more functionality. But that's it, guys. Really enjoyed it. You made my night. Have a good one. Thanks, Glenn. Take care. You bet. Thank you, Glenn. Absolutely. <laughs> I'll Thanks, you, Glenn. <laughs> oh, you guys, man, I just got goosebumps. Enjoyed it. I'm sitting here in my sweatpants, and I get to hang out with y'all <laughs> do worldwide business from our homes. This is too cool. I used yes, to have time to do stuff like this. Okay. I'm gonna All right, go. take care. Okay, there's a little red button at the top. It says stop share. And uh, if you hover over the green section, it has a list of icons. And then it says end meeting and a drop down list. So I click that. Hopefully, it'll start feeding the recording into my computer and I'll have a copy of it, hopefully in high depth. All righty. Y'all have a great week. Start thinking about it. Start dreaming. See ya.